Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Gay from Scratch, and uh, hey, yeah, more Unity news. Now, I gotta admit, Unity has been dominating the headlines lately, but then again, Unity has been doing a lot of releases, so hey, what can I do? But today we got another cool one, it's Visual Search, powered by Rizoni, uh, has just been released by Unity, and this is actually kind of cool. It's a lot like what we saw with Sketchfab integration a couple of months back, but obviously this is indexing the asset store, and it's using AI and machine learning and all the other buzzwords of the day to make your life a wonderful place. So what exactly does it do? Well, exactly exactly what it sounds like. Basically, it's finding the right assets for your upcoming project uh, should be fast and easy, whether you're building a realistic 3D fantasy game or a sci-fi, low-poly, first-person shooter. We know it can be a challenge to find the right assets with a style and theme that match your project. So... What they did is created an AI-powered visual search engine for 3D content that allows developers to quickly find, access, and preview 3D assets. Um, so I'm not going to go into too much more detail, but basically over a million 3D objects and packages on the Unity Asset Store were indexed and now searchable via machine logic. Once you've installed it, you can go through the entire collection. You can filter it based off of price, design, and so on. You can search by text, obviously. So if you're looking for a car, you can find a car. It will show you all of the cars, which you can then preview in your scene. Uh, if, you, if it's a free asset, you can literally just drop it in your scene. If it's a commercial one, uh, you're going to have to buy it ultimately, but it does also link to the store. On top of that, there is also visual search, which will search by a shape that you defined using ProBuilder, which is actually kind of cool. And we'll get into all that actually right now. Let's jump in and take a look at Unity visual search in action. So in order to do that, we're obviously going to need to create a new project. So let's do that. So uh, visual search. Yeah, that was for me. Don't need analytics. I'll go ahead and create that project. And uh, We'll give this a second to run. I'm going to do this through the power of pause because I'm going to have to install a couple of things to make this work. So while this loads up, I'm going to pause. Okay, our scene is now loaded. What we need to do, obviously, is go into the windows and open up the asset store. So right here under general, fire up the asset store or press control 9. Once the asset store is, of course, loaded, you're obviously going to need to be logged in at this point in time. Come on up here, search for visual search. Grab it right there. Now, I've already done this once, so I don't have to go through the purchase process. It is completely free, but go ahead and purchase it and then import it into your project. Click import. It will grab all the required assets and download. Now, one thing that's going to vary potentially between my run and yours is you have to give some permissions for Rizoni to be able to run on your machine. There's also a checkbox to allow them to automatically update. Coincidentally, you can uncheck that and allow it to run. Now, since I did this install once on another machine, I may not have to go through this process. So you may have to. I don't. Um, so do be prepared to have to log in again, potentially using your user account and granting permission to Rizoni uh, to be able to do stuff. Um, so once that is done, go on up here, go to window, go to Unity Visual Search. You will see it shows up as just another tab. You can put that wherever you want, like you would do normal docking. But it works well here. So there you see, I've got to log in with my Unity ID. And then agree, I don't want your updates. And a step. Now you're going to probably have to do one more step because I had to do uh, uh, some kind of grant them permissions thing. But do be aware that that is there. And then once you know what you're looking for, you just come on up in here. You can say I'm looking for a ship. Or a goat. I should have gone goat. I always do goat. Why didn't I do goat? Well, doing that, I'll switch over to my scene here so you can see it. So what that did is it searched all of the asset store for the various different uh, ships that are available. And this is obviously more useful if we um, uh, da, 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 filter it, which we also can do. So you see here it loaded up these different ships. Pretty looking stuff. So now what I can do is say, oh, wait, now I'm cheap. So what I want to do is search instead for ships with zero. We can also do it for the number of materials on it and the total polygon count. But I'm going to stick with just zero price. So again, let's set that down to zero. Or I can go here and set it to zero that way and then apply. So now we're only seeing free ships. And this will just give us uh, results that are... Um, of that kind and then once you see something you want now unfortunately ship is an overused term but there we go we got a boat so if you want to use this in your scene you can literally just pop. come on you go here there you go you have a ship in your scene in preview form as you can see it's marked right there um yeah and that's kind of the extent of it i don't know what you can do about that preview oh that's literally just a preview at this point so you'll see Oh, no, it's full of them. Uh, we can actually go ahead and get it by clicking on it there. You can do a similar save search, or you can say, now show me in store. 
And then you're going to grab it in the regular way. So this basically is bringing you to the asset pack that it found it in. Oh, and it's failing pretty hardcore here. Uh, so in other words, it searched and indexed it, but this particular example I decided to use is no longer in the store. So um, it appears you have some work to do, Rosani slash uh, Unity. And I just happened to pick the one model that was not available. Let's try just something completely at random. Show in store and see if this is a persistent issue or I just happened to luck out. There you go. It was just that one off. So you see you've got the preview of the the asset in the scene. So you can just drag and drop it in like so. You can obviously delete it from the scene easily enough by just click and delete, click and delete. But once again, let's bring that guy in the scene so you can preview how it will look. You'll see it's marked for the preview tag. You wanna go ahead and grab it. You can then grab it from the store. And as you saw from my first attempt, uh, it's not 100% at this point in time, but it's still a very cool feature and cool functionality going on. Now, another thing that they've added here is shape machine learning. So what I can actually do, let me get rid of this guy, is I could come up here and I go, um, I need to add this guy first. So I'm going to add uh, Pro Builder in. Now, if you don't know about it, Pro Builder was a free package they added for um, doing modeling directly inside of Unity. They purchased this a, a while back and now it's completely free. So come up here, grab Pro Builder and do an install. This is going to take a few minutes. So I'm just going to go ahead and pause while that is installing. All right, so the package is installed. If you head on up here to tools, you will now find Pro Builder. What I want to do is come down and do editors, new poly shape. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just create the outline of a shape that I'm gonna then be able to search for in the Unity Visual Search. So let's come down here and let's create, I don't know, let's create a pointing finger. So this is like, say someone pointing their finger like that. Yeah, so you need the hand here, of course, too. So yeah, so we're gonna search for a pointing finger, closed it off, extrude that out a bit. There you go. So we have a basic shape of say a pointing finger. Yeah, that's what that is. And now what I'm gonna do is right click on it over here. So let's write this here so we have no confusion. So of course that is a pointing finger. Like so, and what we can do is right click this guy and now select Unity Visual Search. And this is where their AI comes in. Basically, it's gonna search for that profile we just created. So you can do like a rough drawing uh, of the object you kind of wanna have prototyped in your scene. And then later on, you can have it do a search based off of that particular shape. It will go through its assets and find everything that it looks and thinks is similar in shape to what you drew. So here, for example, it found this gun, like so. And then you can now add that into your scene. Uh, so basically you can also do shape-based search for shapes that you define using Pro Builder. So you, again, use Pro Builder to quickly block out your scene, and then you can search after the fact inside of the asset store using this AI and machine learning, which still seems to need a little bit of tweaking because this is a little overly aggressive and it basically just saw this as a rectangle instead of uh, the pointing finger that it obviously is. But that is it. That is uh, this new Unity visual search that has come to Unity. I don't know actually what the required version is. Let's see if it actually, it's probably a 2018 version. Nope. It doesn't specifically say anything about a minimum required version. So it's possible that anybody can use it. I wonder if I go over to the asset store, if it'll tell me there. One second, I'll check. So here we are over on the asset store. Supported Unity versions are 2017.1 and higher. So basically any version of Unity released in the last two years can use Unity Visual Search, which is pretty sweet. So I will of course toss links down below. Uh, hopefully you found that useful. Um, you know what, again, I'm doing a lot of Unity content of late, but that's because Unity just keeps adding new stuff to do content on. They also did a new uh, film demo that I'm kind of thinking about covering as well, but kind of maybe hitting uh, critical mass on Unity coverage. Let me you know what you think are you down for just basically as much coverage per game engine as it's relevant at the time does this look pretty cool to you are you going to be using visual search or yeah let me know comments down below talk to you all later goodbye